Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at how to install Apple Loops into, uh, into, into GarageBand here, where there is nothing at the moment. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to do it with iTunes. Uh, which is okay, which it, which works, but is uh, does have its disadvantages, of course. And also, I'm going to show you how to do it with iFunbox, which is here. Um, and there's iTunes, so they're, they're they're both they're both up and running. So, okay, first of all, I'm going to do uh, show you a couple of other things as well here. I'm going to install some loops from the downstream pack here from Mode Audio. I like Mode Audio because it does, uh, you know, you can get that your sounds are from like Apple, Apple Loops, Reason, Refills, uh, Ableton, MIDI, MIDI files, drum samples, everything. These guys basically give me everything that I need for uh, uh, to, to to work with that stuff, and the the costs are, are are really good. So if I go for like for Apple Loops here, which I'm going to do uh, for this pack, and I've got this already downloaded, fourteen pounds, and gets all these uh, Apple Loops. Right, so that's mode audio. So that's where the Apple Loops are coming from, folks. Uh, if you haven't got iPhone Box, I suggest you install it because it's great for um, working with uh, your iPad for file management, as you will see. It's a load better. So, okay, so first of all, let's minimize those. And I shall minimize my recorder. And let's just have a look at, first of all, uh, doing it with their uh, iTunes. So you sync up your here. Obviously, you sync up your cable with uh, your computer for iTunes, and then uh, you can scroll down here. And where it says uh, file sharing here, file sharing, you locate your uh, app you want to use. Now I've got GarageBand here, and I've got GarageBand highlighted. Now you will see that there is nothing in the GarageBand documents. Okay because some of this stuff is just basically completely closed out to us. All right. And it's also actually exactly the same for uh, iPhone box. If we, if we find a garage band there and we open the sandbox there, we click on it, you'll see that there's nothing there. Although there are loops, as you will see, I shall show you. If we just hit audio recorder and then we can go to our thing here. If we tap our Apple Loops button here, you will see that it is full. But I can't see any way to get those out or in. Okay, well, I, out. So you're sort of you're kind of stuck with them. But you know, hey, that's okay. So first of all, we can minimize that again, I think. So let's just uh, go with the. Let's close there. Let's go with the iTunes version first. Right, so uh, like I said, we're going to scroll down all the way. So we select GarageBand in our file sharing part. Scroll down all the way and we'll go add file. And then we can go to desktop where, and you'll see Apple Loops. I have on the desktop Apple Loops. So we just click on that and then we have oh, things here. So we have drum fills, drum loops. So let's see, let's go to downstream drum loops here. And let's select the first, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll select the first ten of those. Actually, I will select those. Yeah, and I'll just open them. And if we go back up, you'll see that they have now installed into GarageBand loops. And if we open GarageBand, let's close garage band and open it again oh no sorry 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 first thing you have to do is once you've done this once you've installed your loops you need to uh, sync so you press sync and it will sync it won't take long take a short 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 period of time where we can we can peruse whatever okay so for sync to start oh, come on <laughs> see this is the thing with um, see if anything's happened there if you go to garage band here 
the open sandbox you will see that in iphone box uh, it started to sync now as you can see you'll see that in iphone box the files have already been added because we've added them okay so let's just nip back on over to thingy there now let's have a look at this now you will see also now that we have added uh, i think eight files there so we can click on that and there they are and it's added another uh, uh, category at the top there audio files although these are actually you can import uh, AI, WF, wave CAF, apple loops aac mp3 audio files into garage band uh, these are like apple loops so you know and then we can sample our files So and then we can import those as per normal. So say for instance we wanted to like add some of this, we just drag it and drop it in and there it goes across its eight bars because that's what's defaulted to. And then we can add over the top of that, let's add there this. Let's add this. Actually, let's add it there. So that once it starts. And let's also just to show that you're not stuck with like the tempo that it's set at. Let's just drop this tempo down a little bit. Let's go down to 90. So it's very cool. So that's how you do it. Now, if I'm in iTunes now and I decide, right, uh, because, you know, you're, you're going to build up an absolute ton of stuff, right? I mean, it's going to be massive. You're going to have gigs worth of loops and stuff in there. And you don't want that on your iPad because your, your, your whole thing is like to preserve space. I can't see in iTunes how to get rid of these. You can't, you can't right click or left click on them to get rid of them. You can't, like if I like slightly minimize there i can't dra even select and drag them out it will put the loop back on a desktop right there you go but it'll still leave it inside you know if i put that an another one in there as well i'll put that one there i can get the loops back onto the desktop but it still leaves the loop inside garage band taking up space okay so you know let's just put that back there and let's minimize that let's minimize me record it again and let's this time have a look at iphone box now the thing is there's there are my apple loops by the way so we'll go to iphone box now and they're, they're, these are the these are the loops okay so let's just we can close garage band a second i'll open it up again in a minute now say for instance i've made my track i've done everything i want to do with with garage band it's all sorted out and i want to get rid of all my loops inside here now you see it's incredibly difficult with with um, uh, what's it called iTunes but if I just select all these right click delete and they're gone done super simple super easy iPhone box this is why iPhone box is really great and you know and I'm not messing with this iPad isn't jailbroken it's nothing it's just an iPad Air 2 it's it's not running on iOS 9 yet because I don't want to update yet as I said uh, in another video but uh, it, because it's doing everything I needed to do on iOS 8, the latest iOS 8, well, the last one before the 9 update. Um, so you see how easy it is to get it out there. So what else can we do with iPhone box, which is very cool. So for instance, like with Cubase, is for instance, let's open a sandbox here. I got rid of all their projects, you know, the projects that come with it, like because they're just taking up space as well. So I just deleted deleted their project so that's the kind of cool stuff you can do also it's super simple like me let me just show you okay garage band open sandbox copy from pc right and there's there's our there's our loop so if we wanted to for instance and oh, just let me show you as well before i do that before i drop anything else in there let's choose our loop that we are our project 
is still there so that's cool but if we go to add loops now you'll see that i've because i've taken out the ones i've just added our, our other little thing has gone there and we've got not, none of them loops in there until i add some more uh let me just see if i can add some more now let me just go uh let me add let's see i'll add those four just well i'm gonna say no we don't need to sorry because I'm, I'm opening all I just need to do is click open and it'll install them straight off okie dokie so and you'll see automatically straight without even to disconnect close minimize or anything like that my new apple loops from my very very cool down tempo is there there's a fills So for instance, I want to call that actually. So I shall drop that onto there like that. And because it's a fill, we can see, let me just, don't need that there. Actually don't need that there. And I can move this to there and then it should kind of Nice. I love these mode audio loops and refills. You want to hear the one for Kong, the Kong Collider. It's just, well, for reason, it's just wicked. Right, anyway, so that that that's that, basically. So you can see that you can very easily, using iPhone Box, install and delete as, as required. And that's the thing. Uh, with iPhone Box also as well, you get the file browser, manage an app, quick quick toolbox or you can look in your photos you can do use the app store i can see that my ipad is connected but managing apps and the itunes file sharing is the thing that you do you want to be getting stuff in and out simply and quickly uh with the latest version of iphone box okay so there we go so the, the you've seen the um where are we where are we with uh i, I can't like i said i can't select CD. So once I'm kind of locked in, once I've dropped stuff in using uh, iTunes, I can't get it out. And you know, you can see it's two meg, two meg, two meg, three meg, three and a half meg, one and a half meg. If I've got like 150 of these or 200 of these in there, I, I'm starting to build up massive, massive document space inside the iPad, which I don't really want to do. All right. Okay, guys. Um, I think that's basically covered everything that I wanted to go through for that. We've checked out the, uh, the there's there's your your address for getting and it's oh by the way it's completely free it's hundred percent free you just you just download it whether you've got a Mac or, or for Windows obviously this is Windows and also uh, you've, I've showed you Mode Audio which I I get my uh, stuff from which is very cool uh, and oh also I just should point out as well that all these are like you can. 100% lo 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 loyalty free you can use these in your your commercial mixes and whatever this it's, it's very cool and you know sample packs go to pretty pretty reasonably priced uh, okay guys uh, I hope you've enjoyed this and found it and, and found it relatively useful I think I've covered pretty much everything um, even once but oh yeah 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 one more thing as well that was that was the other thing as well what so the whole point of this is I can't work out how to get I can't right lefty swipe or drop them out or I don't know how to um I don't know how to how I can actually delete them from from this as well also that was the whole point as well but it's getting Apple loops in new loops waves stuff like that and also getting them out again garage band all right guys hope you've enjoyed this if you have visitors at the sandtestroom.com where me colin and jacob will try and help you out with as much stuff as we possibly can um i hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful um yeah i'll see you guys later <laughs>